definitely an excellent team. Uh, can I have back to the time of uh, Taylor Dan Xiaoping? I don't know what uh, has to accomplish that was, but during his time, he don't see that the policy of setting aside our territorial claims and in, in, instead encouraging mutual development in the Nansha area. Has the policy changed under the 18th National Congress? Thank you. So the, the Congress uh, did not mention the details uh, of this uh, policy, uh, but to, to my understanding, uh, this uh, uh, policy still stands uh, valid uh, <coughs> because uh, oh, we think that uh, the uh, territorial disputes and, and territorial integrity is a very important, sensitive, and complex issue. Uh, uh, you cannot uh, uh, solve it uh, with, within a short period of time. Uh, so uh, pending the, uh, the <coughs> solution of the issues, uh, we, uh, we think that it's more feasible uh, to have uh, uh, come a joint uh, uh, exploration of the resources while showing the differences. Uh, so that is the, the starting point of the uh, formula put forward by uh, Deng Xiaoping. Actually, Deng Xiaoping uh, uh, raised this uh, formula uh, first time with the Philippine leader, uh, the then uh, vice president and uh, foreign secretary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I think uh, uh, we should uh, together explore the feasibilities of uh, showing the differences and uh, conducting a joint conversation. Other questions? Yes, please. Uh, good evening, Ambassador. Um, Ali Raza from Pakistan. So, I want to know your views about the Gaza current situation. Gaza. 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 Oh. <laughs> Sorry. What's the stance of China on this? Sorry. Sorry, I have not followed closely what uh, is happening in Gaza. I know there is some, something happening there. <laughs> But uh, I think it is uh, the uh, general principle in China that uh, we hope uh, peace will prevail uh, in Middle East area. Yeah. So I think we uh, hope that uh, parties uh, will uh, uh, say, uh, maintain calm. What is your stand on Syria then? You must be following that, surely. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Benji Dukut from Green Architecture Advocacy Philippines. Um, we know the uh, 
training the industry initiatives of uh, China, considering China as one of the top uh, world's producers of uh, almost all the products. I mean, uh, what are the greening the industry initiatives of uh, China? I mean, reducing the uh, carbon uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes. Yes, I think China has done a lot uh, uh, because uh, China is the, uh, has been the target. <laughs> so uh, during the climate change uh, negotiations, uh, we are fully aware of our responsibilities in mitigating the climate change. Uh, I think the Chinese government has done a lot in the last uh, uh, 10 to five, five years. Uh, uh, we have uh, set up uh, uh, very uh, specific targets uh, for the reducing of uh, emissions uh, and then to close down uh, many uh, energy uh, consuming uh, facilities uh, and then uh, also uh, to educate uh, the uh, people, the companies take the environment and the emission uh, into account in their daily life, in their production. Uh, so uh, this time at the party congress, uh, one of the new uh, feature, features of the policy is to pay more attention to the ecological protection of the country and to contribute more to the emissions uh, of the world. Yeah. So uh, we call it uh, to build a more beautiful country uh, for China. So I think uh, uh, this will uh, give uh, even more input uh, in the uh, in environmental protection and reduce Um, Ambassador, thank you for your speech. You mentioned 2012-13, uh, the uh, years of friendly exchanges. I'd just be interested in your views in terms of high-level visits um, back in 2013 on the Chinese side uh, to the Philippines. Um, if that's something you could comment on, if there's possibility, for example, uh, for Mr. Yang in the Philippines any time soon. Thank you. Uh, some visits, you mean, some visits? Oh, oh dear. Yeah. <coughs> yes, uh, there has been uh, some exchanges of views of uh, possible visits uh, to and from China, two-way two -way visits. Uh, I think next year uh, in Nanning, Guangxi, Guangxi, the China, uh, China ASEAN Expo, uh, Philippines will be the country of honor. Mm -hmm. So uh, according to the general practice, uh, the country of honor uh, should uh, have a high-level delegation to highlight the, the, the country. Uh, yeah. So we hope that uh, there will be a high-ranking delegation the Philippines to attend this uh, China ASEAN Expo. Uh, So uh, there has been some discussions about the uh, visit of China, uh, the Chinese New Year season uh, invitations. Uh, but we know that uh, the transition of leadership has not been finished. <laughs> so the real transition will take uh, will take place in next March, when the People's Congress will have its uh, session. And so at, uh, at that uh, on that occasion the government leaders and ministers will be elected. So uh, pending that uh, transition, I hope there will be a visit <laughs> uh, from China to the thing. But we will see. Question? Uh, good afternoon, Your Excellency. Uh, I'd just like to ask what's the, what will be the policy of the next administration towards Taiwan? And uh, yeah, I know, so, uh, a long issue before already, right? But uh, 
what do they about to do Taiwan and yeah, um, uh, are there any new developments? Yes. Uh, so uh, in the uh, in the last few years, the relations uh, between the uh, two sides of the Taiwan Strait, uh, namely the mainland and the uh, Taiwan, the province of Taiwan, uh, have been very. Uh, Active or hectic, uh, uh, there has been a new progress uh, in the in relationship on the two sides uh, of the Taiwan Strait. So it is very encouraging uh, that uh, uh, both sides have, uh, uh, to some extent, acknowledged the, uh, the one China, China policy. Uh, of course, with different uh, interpretations, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, why kind of policy is the basis for the uh, exchanges uh, between the two sides? And uh, based on this, uh, there has been uh, progress on uh, specific uh, areas, in specific areas, like uh, posting, uh, uh, commerce, and uh, uh, air uh, trafficking, People to people exchanges uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, that has been uh, very helpful uh, for both sides. Uh, but uh, having said this, uh, I should say that uh, uh, we are very strict in uh, uh, stick to the one child uh, one China policy. So uh, whatever the exchanges. Uh, in the two sides of the Taiwan Strait, uh, it, it uh, does not change the one China policy for the uh, other countries uh, to follow. Uh, so in their relations uh, with, uh, with the province of Taiwan, we hope they will follow the one China, uh, China policy. That means that uh, there will be no official uh, connections, mm. official agreement signing, signed Something uh, with the official uh, implications. Uh, we hope that there will be no such questions. Thank you. Question in the back. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Thank you very much for your speech. Uh, my name is Milo, and I'm an MDM student, and my research is on Myanmar. And I found out that China has a lot of economic interest in Myanmar. My question is, uh, has China been doing some uh, initiatives to address the gas-rich Rakhine state in Myanmar regarding the Rohingya Muslims? You know, they are, it's getting tenser and tenser uh, nowadays. Uh, and or does China consider this a purely domestic issue and not uh, not intermingling with the political affairs of uh, of uh, Myanmar? Because this is a uh, a little sensitive issue on the uh, between Bangladesh and Myanmar, but uh, China has also a lot of economic interest in that country. Uh, yes, uh, mi uh, Myanmar, Myanmar is a very important uh, neighbor uh, for China. We share the same, same neighbor border. Uh, uh, there are uh, some uh, economic uh, projects uh, in, in Myanmar. Uh, but as you said, it's the very basic uh, principle of China's po foreign policy that uh, we don't interfere in the country's internal affairs. Uh, that is a very uh, basic and important uh, uh, principle for China. Uh, I don't know uh, the, uh, very exactly uh, the, the case you, you raised. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. But uh, the principle is there. Uh, we don't need it there. Purely internal affairs. Uh, good evening, ma'am. This is Amritin Panigai from India. As you emphasize that uh, the China's policy is to revisit the history and uh, then resolve the different territorial issues and the, the cultural exchanges. 
that is, uh, if you see, we have recently the Cambodian Prime Minister said to the Indian Prime Minister that we welcome you, they welcome India to play a larger role in the ASEAN because of its root in the region. So how do you see, because uh, it is a very complicated issue, like the, for the certain centuries the China has got the history and after that the India was there and it interposed between. So how do you think that China's policy can balance out the result in peace uh, with, uh, with this particular approach to the international or the regional stability? in the region 